and feel like your kid is growing up too fast? Well, it turns out that is not the case. A new uh, research study shows that today's teens are actually growing up much more slowly than in decades past. The Fox Medical Team's Dr. Joe is here to explain. Dr. Joe, good morning. It's good to see you this morning. Good morning. Yeah, I, you know, this is going to be music to the ears of a lot of parents. So what has happened is over the decades, starting in 1970, they have surveyed students, high school students and young college students, and they looked for trends. And what they've found recently is they're these kids are postponing what we would consider an adult activity. Mm. So what, what was that? Things like sex, dating, drinking alcohol, um, working for pay, going out without their parents, and also driving. So they looked at a lot of parameters. They said, well, maybe the driving was due to ride sharing. But they said, no, the decline occurred earlier than, than Uber and Lyft came on the market. Um, they looked at other things like extracurricular activities, and could that be causing the change and they said no homework and extracurriculars have actually gone down so overall they do believe this trend is real that these kids are postponing some of these seemingly adult types of activities for a later date I, I've got to tell you what surprised me most about this study is the driving, right? Because most of us, when we're 16, the day you turn 16, you're down at the DMV, you're ready to get that license. I have a son who has no interest at all, like none, doesn't even care, doesn't want anything to do with it right now. Was there anything in the study that surprised you? Yes, um, and in fact, they said that they looked at eighth graders back in 1990. They went out more than seniors in 2010. Hmm. So they had a more active social life. So what is causing this issue? And one of the things that's new and different is the internet. They believe that it might be playing some sort of a role. They're not really sure what that role would be. Um, and, and as for the driving, yeah, they looked at even looked at the graduated driver's licenses because some states are doing that now. And they said that didn't even impact the driving. They just don't want to drive. They just they're just waiting. And and why are they waiting? Um, some of the things that correlated were, you know, parents who had more of a college education, uh, smaller families, less kids in that family. Um, so, so maybe some of those things are playing a role with these parents being more involved. But again, they just don't know. Dr. Joe, with just about 15 seconds or so left, do you have any recommendations in terms of what parents can do? Because for me, I've got three boys. And for me, I want, it's not that I want them to stay little boys, right? I do want them to grow up. I want, <laughs> but at the same time, in the world we live in today, you do kind of want to shelter them a little bit. What are some recommendations? Yeah, and you're absolutely right. In fact, when I looked at some of the studies about helicopter parents, um, these kids are struggling in college. There have mm. been multiple studies that they have an increased risk of anxiety and depression. So, so there are issues there. So you do need to let them go a little bit. I, I don't know what the magic answer is, but certainly you don't want to be too over, overly protective. But I think the extracurriculars and the homework, that to me, uh, you know, I, I hate seeing those decline. And I hate seeing those decline in exchange for Internet use. So I think that screen time may really, really be a key here as to how mm -hmm. much they interact on screen and not in social environments, you know, that they're substituting the social interaction for the actual interaction with other peers. Dr. Joe, some great information. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you.